All right, guys, so we are going to be going over the global side of Dokkan Battle. We just got a massive, massive update, and uh, there's a whole bunch of information that I want to go over. I'm trying to do my best so that way uh, I don't ramble on on one subject because there's so much to go over. And you know I me, mean? I'll always do the news release with all the information in it, and then I'll break it down, all the news pieces, into different videos and go over each one in depth. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have a new loading screen, which I particularly really like. Shout out to Danny. <laughs> um, so this is from the Reddit, by the way. Also, shout out to the Reddit. Uh, if you want any information, this is probably going to be one of your best sources for immediate information other than Twitter. Uh, so go over here, check them out, create an account, and join the Reddit. They are amazing. So we have a new loading screen with Frieza and with Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, I really like it. I don't know if this is foreshadowing things to come. There we might be getting some new event or something like that coming around this month that is going to incorporate these two that the JP side didn't have which is awesome if we do. If not, it's just kind of like a throwback to uh, like a, a new introduction wallpaper, a throwback to the original game, I guess, when we first came out because there's a lot of good Frieza stuff back then. But anyway, just want to note that we're on version 3.6.1, which also means we now have the leader ability. A whole bunch of other stuff was fixed too, like some user interface problems, some crashing, the app was crashing for some people, so that was modified and fixed. Um, the three, the four categories that are actually available right now, the ones that are available in-game, which includes Supreme Fusion category, which is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for all finger fusions, uh, the Peerless Gleam Super Saiyan, um, I'm sorry, uh, the Omega Shenron for the Shadow Arc, Shadow Dragon Arc category for GT, so that includes Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, not Super Saiyan 4 Goku, though. Uh, and we have the Peppy Girls, or the Peppy Gals category for the Master Roshi, when we're trying to get Platinum Turtle Shells. And we have the World Tournament for Hercule Platinum Statues, or for Hercule Statues, going up against the Hercule event for additional drop rates. This is just something that I'm going to show you. This is a Turtle School training with Peppy Gals on the global side. You get bonus shells depending on how many of those Peppy Gals you have. The higher the rarity of the card, the increased in percentage of you have to actually have additional drops. So I would recommend getting all the SSR girls underneath this category that you can. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, essentially, just go on to dbz.space, shout out to Renzi, and uh, check them out because there is a whole category section that goes over all the cards that are available on the global side, part of that can. Um, Candy Vegito is now available to be used on the LR stage, on the LR stages, so on the Prime Battles or LR Goku, LR Frieza events, LR Candy Vegito is now available, so that's awesome. Go ahead and utilize him if you have him and if you are still grinding him out. Me, personally, I only have LR Frieza left. I haven't even got my first LR Frieza. I have both of them at Super Attack 10. Um, <laughs> I am waiting for the fourth stage, so that way I can get one of the pads unlocked before I Doken Awaken them, so that way I can get them up to get Doken Awaken to the LR variant, because it's not really a big deal, just because I already have a really good, I have really good teams, and I don't plan on going for Janemba, per se. Anyway, uh, World Tournament information, we do have the information about World Tournament. Uh, we have the Agility Base Form Vegito as a World Tournament reward, and the Physical Kid Goku, the one that transforms into a Great Ape, gets his Doken Awakening. Doken Awakening for this kid, Goku, is pretty decent. Um, he's nothing to write home about, but he gives himself attack plus 80% at the start of the turn and makes him turn into a great egg two times. Oh, sorry. Uh, Link skill set is very unique, to say the least. He has some good attack buffs. The Saiyan Roar is in here also, so that definitely um, helps him out a little bit if you're running him on a super team. You don't have anyone to link with. Like, let's say you have a Super Saiyan 4, and you don't have anyone else with Saiyan Roar. That will help you out a little bit there. Uh, uniqueness, because Trident's the Dragon Balls is there, so... Anyway, I'm not going to go too far in depth on this. I'm going to go over the World Tournament in a separate video. That's probably going to come out tomorrow because today's Monday. Um, or I'll probably save it for later on in the week because there's more important information. The World Tournament won't be out till this week. Uh, the World Tournament Reward. Now, I don't know if this is going to be worth it to you. This is the base form Vegito. I personally like the base form Vegito. And as we know, the, the base form Vegitos are going to be farmable in the future. So getting at least one of him might be worth it to you because you get the Super Attack 10. He has a decent leader ability if you don't have any mono AGL abilities. Um, he's only good for temporary use, I would say, for new players. OG players, I know, don't come scream at me about it. I know he's not a good leader at all. Uh, but for those of you who don't have any leader, he can suffice to be in a good, a good placement until you get a better one. Uh, super attack, big bang attack, supreme damage enemy, all allies attack plus 20% for one turn. Now, he's interesting <clears throat> because his uh, passive skill is defense plus 100% for as first attacker and super allies attack plus 30%. So his super allies um, passive ability boost is awesome, 
but he's one of those units that you want to have on the end rotation, off rotation, so you don't primarily use him. But his first part of his passive and his super attack make him want to be the first attack in the turn, and he's not good enough or hard hitting enough for him to warrant that. That's up to you. Again, I'll go over him in a separate video. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to that because that mechanic, uh, Bandai is like, it's like, hey, the meta of players all utilize his secondary part of his passive as an off rotation unit. But, but Bandai is trying to make it so that way he's the primary rotation unit. What, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll see how that works out in the future. Anyway, Shadow Dragon Arc, or if the categories are available, these are the four that I had just mentioned earlier. Go over to dbc.space forward slash card forward slash category, or just go to dbc.space and click on the cat. or yeah, you have to go to the cards over here, go to menu section, go to cards, and then click on categories, and we'll list them out. Click on whatever one you want to list out. I have them all here. Fusion categories. This is with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, I also have something to talk about with the current banner that's available, or banners that are available, um, and what's going on with the future. This is awesome. I'm really happy about this Super Stoke. Uh, so, I, as you guys know, I am very upset because I do not have either, either him or Omega Shenron. I am super upset about that. I went so ham, so freaking ham on that Omega Shenron. I'm a big villain leader uh, fan just because every freaking hero is a damn Super Saiyan. And I'm honestly tired of looking at the golden hair. You know, it's cool. You know, it's cool in the beginning. Super Saiyan 4s, I'm still a fan of running them because they're not like golden haired you know, special childs, they are hard hitters, but like, I'm a big fan of the villains, they're so diverse, I really wanted this Omega, but anyway, uh, I don't have either of these, but if you guys do, all of the fusion characters that are listed out here are good, they do have the fusions banner out, which in incorporate all the Dragon Ball fusions characters, uh, I'm not going to go fully in depth, this is the new banner that's currently available, which I did want to mention as well, it's currently out now, there's no discount summons on it, um, we're going to talk about the rates in a minute, uh, this, those characters are all good, a lot of the ones on the end, I believe, like this, uh, was Bola, a bra pan. Or no, this is, um, uh, is this bra pan? I forgot. A uh, bull pan. Oh, well, but bra pan, bull pan, same thing. Um, I think hers is agility here. All allies keep plus three when HP is 30. Well, so she's awesome when it comes to giving allies key. So she might be worth it for you. Uh, th there's only these cards on that banner. I think the other one is Pandel. Pandel's a really good character. Well, because she's attack plus 30% for all allies, so there's no, like, it's not just super types, it's not just one category type, it's just all allies with a flat up buff. I don't actually have her, she's the only one of the old characters that I don't have. If you have LR Gohan, I would recommend going for the Swearist. Again, I'll, I'm going to do a full coverage in a separate video, but this banner has some decent units, especially on this Fusions type banner, right? This, uh, this Caroli can come in handy if you are lacking good Super Saiyan Fusion units because he will link with the Super Saiyan link on top of the Fusion category buffs. So, um, yeah. But go over here, check it out. This is literally all that we have currently available for the for the actual uh, Fusion's banner. I don't know why this uh, Gotenks is over here, the adult Gotenks. We don't have him available, which is odd. So, uh, we never got the heroes, so the heroes shouldn't be. But anyway, yeah, um, this is a really good category. They have a lot of very strong units. Um, so, go ahead, check it out, and let me know what you guys, what you guys are thinking about team building. Uh, it's really difficult because there's only like a full like set of characters available here for it. Uh, Shadow Dragons is even less easy to build because like so your primary units are going to be like uh, the Omega Shenron and then you're going to have a Sin Shenron, which is either yeah I think it's, yeah this is the Sin Shenron. Uh, so those are going to be your two primary units that are going to keep running together. And then I mean at that point you're going to probably want to throw another unit on here with him. If you have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you're probably going to throw him on there and he could link with some key links with the uh, Omega. Plus Fierce Battle, um, you're going to want probably Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on there, but there's a very limited amount of good characters, and obviously if you have this Omega Shenron as leader, you can't run the Strength Omega Shenron on the team. So yes, you are very limited. I mean, at least you have like Pan with a nice passive for support, you know, that's awesome. Some of these SSRs, like this Vegeta, gives like attack plus 90% unbounded, he's a World Tournament reward. But uh, overall, nice category. Uh, the, this is the World Tournament reward. This is when you go up for the Hercule for the statues. Again, you're going to want to go with the SSRs or the LRs for the higher increase percentage rate of those drops. But you can use any of them, and a lot of these guys are free to play. Like, this kid Krillin Doken Awakens from a rare strength of Krillin, like the, uh, I guess, the adult version of Krillin. He Doken Awakens to his kid variant, which is so you can use him. Um, the Yamchas, the dead Yamchas are all are part of it. The uh, Jackie Chun that are free to grind. was his Mercenary Tau. Piccolo, uh, Daimao, or the, the evil King Piccolo is available, Mighty Mass, so you have a lot of free-to-play characters for this category if you want uh, to actually increase that buff, it definitely makes it worth it, so that way you 
get those extra drops. Same thing with Peppy Gals. There's a lot more Peppy Gals that are here. Um, a lot of them are rare, so I mean, if you don't have any of these girls for these category, go ahead, do some friend summons and get some of these rares and, you know, uh, throw them in there or keep them, you know what I mean? But it's definitely worth it to have that going. Especially if you have, like, Khalif, like, you throw her as a leader, it'll help you kill the enemy a little bit quicker. Outside of that, those are all the categories. This is going to be, we're going to talk about the summons right now. We have the category summons that's currently out. This banner has all of the LRs on it. The Fusions banner does not have all the LRs. It's funny because the category system is over here, Celebration is out. One feature SSR guaranteed per multi-summon, which I didn't read before, so that's awesome. And it's discounted for three multi-summons of 30. It's a trap banner for those of you who are saving stones who are not uh, wells, who do not want to put money into the game. It's a trap if you're waiting for a specific banner. And I'm going to talk about something in a minute about the Super Saiyan, um, well, the, the Super Gogeta and Genema banner that are coming out. Um, so we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, then the Dragon Ball Fusions only have the Dragon Ball Fusion characters available as SSRs. Um, they're not guaranteed, but any SSR you get is going to be one of them. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This is it. Uh, all the SSRs here. We have Kid uh, Kid Cell. Is it Cell Boo? Cellza. So it's uh, Cell and Frieza combined. Uh, and Weirus. These two cards are new. And the Weirus is really good for LR. Go on. Now, me personally, I'm not going to go for him. I have a good team set up. I would prefer to wait for the Gogeta banner to come out and go for something else in the future. If they do, you know, they, this will come back. It doesn't come back often, but it will come back. Um, it's all right. I already have most of these characters except for uh, this girl over here, Pandel. Uh, she'd be cool. I would really like to have her. She, run, she runs really well on that Fusions team. So if you have her and you have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, more power to you because she's going to give everyone uh, that buff. And all the other characters over here, they're just basic SRs and SSRs. Oh, sorry, SRs and rank. There's no SSRs on here that are not Fusion category, which means they all have about a 3.33% pull rate. Now, uh, we're going to go over here talking about the rare summons. Three times only, perform multi-summon with 30 Dragon Stones instead of 50. So these are all of the cards that you can get from here. Um, now, this is why, I mean, these are all the featured cards. It's like, oh, hey, you can go and get one of the featured units. And it's just like you're looking at all the featured units and you're just like, I mean, they're cool. I guess, but other than like this uh, pen from GT and this Gotenks, there's really nothing else on this banner that I can say is really good. I mean, I suppose this Trunks over here from GT is good on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team when you Doken Awaken him, but he easily gets outshined by other units when you start collecting all of them. Um, outside of that though, um, I don't really know if this banner is worth it. Again, uh, there are uh, the LRs on here. You have Goku Black, as you see, Broly, Majin, Vegeta, and LR Gohan, so we do have the four of them on this banner, so which means you can theoretically pull him, or pull any of the four, so if you want to try your luck, go for it, if you're lacking some of these characters, but, uh, I mean, Sin Shenron's awesome, too, I I'm saying, I, I look overlooked him because I already have him super tech with all four groups, he's a, he was a very common pull for me, uh, so Sin Shenron is here if you want, if you want him, he's definitely going to be good to link with either the, you know, Strength Omega Shenron or the physical Omega Shenron, especially on the Korra team. That's really why I, I tried so hard to get him, because I really want that Korra team. I got my Korra, I couldn't get my freaking uh, Omega. Oh, well. But, you know, uh, half of these units are good, so you you can try your luck if you want. Since it's a guaranteed SSR for a feature, um, it might be worth it for you. Try it, maybe try at least one. Uh, again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should or shouldn't do. But, uh, in terms of the banner, it, it's like one of those... One of those where I think it's worth it, but I also have no problem buying stone. You know, if you're saving stones, I would still say wait and save your stone. Uh, last but not least, we don't have any information over here uh, from uh, actual DB or Dokkan stats about this. So I just want to go over to the JP side. So if you know, notice, uh, we now have the fusion categories of the Velb. Now, I've been saying for the longest time, I think that, that the, uh, the actual uh, Janemba and Gogeta banner are going to come out after... Uh, during right Christmas time, I know I animated muscles been saying no, it's gonna come out next, it's gonna come out next, and I, I kind of thinking now that it is going to come out next. I really do. Um, it came out after Kid Boo, technically, it came out after Kid, Boo. but I mean, we have what we had all the actual banners the, the Super Saiyan 4 Dokkan Fest. This is, now, this is the JP side. I'm going, we had Korra, we just finished Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Messi and Bardock, we finished Super 17, we finished Kid Boo. Right? To do it out of order would be the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and then the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, the, the, the evil one, right? I think now that we have the fusions and the category leads, 
that we are going to actually get these two banners. Now, I did watch the Freeze video, and he was like, oh, I'm wondering when we're going to get, you know, a Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner. Now, I've been saying for the longest time that I think those two are going to be on the respective Janemba and Super Gogeta banners. Now, I'm thinking that they are going to be next. I mean, I'm pretty sure underneath the release schedule over here that they are already translated, unlike their other counterparts. So, let's go over here. I'm, I'm, this is actually back over on DBZ.Space. So we can go over here and look. Super Gogeta is, has his English translations already, and so does Janemba. We don't have that for the physical Gotenks, which is over here. He still has his Japanese room. And the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I checked him too. I'm pretty sure I checked him the other day. And he, yeah, he still has Japanese translation. So that means, guys, I'm under the impression that after this World Tournament, we are getting Super Gogeta and Super Janemba. And there's so much information here that I'm just going crazy right now. I highly, highly believe that they're going to be next now. And now I believe that. And I believe that the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the, uh, the Omega Shenron are going to be on their respective banner. Which means that they're going to have some characters on here that were, that were on the original banners that are no longer going to be available. And I think personally on the Gogeta banner, they're going to remove Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku because he just came out. Um, I hope that they keep the rest of these guys. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I wouldn't be upset if they traded him out, but they're going to keep him because, you know, fan service. And on this banner, they would probably remove Mass Saiyan Bardock and place for him. Just, that's, those are the cards that are out. I mean, this is, I want to go over this in a more in-depth video because I think that that deserves its own video. But that's what I'm thinking over here. I think Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is going to be taken out. And I think that the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to be added in. I hope everything else remains the same because I need that Trunks and I need that Vegeta. I need one more Super Vegeta Blue and I want the Gogeta. Uh, even though I would like the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku because I didn't really pull for him, I want, you know, I would like him to stay on here. I would rather him trade out Beerus than on the other one, on the other banner. Um, Goku Black, I want him to get, get the hell out of here. We don't want Goku Black. Anymore. I'm tired of Goku Black. Uh, everything else will probably remain the same other than the Mass Saiyan Bar. But anyway, guys, that's just my opinion on the matter. I'm going to do a full separate video on that and going over all the information. But that's all the news that came out. Category banners are here. Try your luck, maybe on one. I'll probably buy one stone pack and do multi summons later on in the week. Um, just so that way I can do it and get my featured SSRs. I really just want one more of those go tanks so that way I can get another new path unlocked and I can token away because I'm just waiting on one more two path. Um, not that I have four of them, I think I have the bottom right ice on the top left. Um, and outside of that, I don't need any of these, these other characters, because Pan's already all set. She's actually super tech tank. So, anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned, because all the stuff I went over, I'll be doing in-depth video analysis throughout the week on them, uh, including the World Tournament, Fusion Spanner, including the categories, and I'll possibly do a team building on the categories at some point. Over. Anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll check you out in the comments below.